Hello, my darlings, and welcome. Today, I'm going to create a set of 13 wooden witches' runes. Let's do some magical crafting. When the star rune appears, it's green light for you to go after what you want. This is going to be quite a long video because as I create this set, I'd love to talk about the rune meanings. Each rune has a positive or negative connotation so that you can cast for a yes or no question. I started with 13 2 inch unfinished wood rounds, drawing each symbol in pencil and then using a wood burning tool to create each rune. You could make your own set using the medium you love the most. You could use paint on wood. You could engrave pieces of stone. I just love to use this wood burning tool. So I made a cup of coffee, lit a scented candle to get in the zone and got down to work. This rune is Harvest. It's a very positive rune related to abundance, rewards, growth, and benefits. But it's important not to mistake this rune for mere luck. While luck may help, the harvest rune is usually related to the blessings you've brought upon yourself and to others through your actions and your investments. Reaping what you sow is the message of the harvest rune, but with a positive connotation all that you worked and fought so hard to get will finally come to you and you'll be able to enjoy a time of tranquility, optimism, and expansion. Thus, the harvest rune is a positive sign telling you you're on the right path. However, it's important to note that the symbols always attach to personal responsibility. A positive rune, the eye is about awakening and envisioning. It's always been a powerful symbol for different cultures. Some believe that the soul resides in the eyes, while others think it's possible to curse a person merely by looking at them. When the eye rune appears, there's an urge to observe, explore, understand deeply what's in front of you. It's usually related to sudden realizations, the lifting of veils. Your eyes are suddenly open and you see things that were unknown to you before. A change of perception and focus in life is to be expected when this rune appears. Whatever the situation is, the way you see it will be transformed. The I rune also says that now is the time for you to go after what you want. Your focus is powerful right now, and everything you concentrate on can become successful. A negative rune, the moon, references emotional influences, a time of transition, and the need to look beyond the surface into deeper meanings. Sometimes it asks you to look at memories. The moon has subtle powers and represents change, but it changes its face a little bit every day, and so it references slower and long-term change. The moon often symbolizes a transition of time in which things are not yet defined or very clear. It may represent a lack of information or bad timing. Any action taken under the influence of the moon may not go as expected because of that. The moon works with undercurrents. It shows hidden developments or things done in the shadows. All secrets are protected by the moon. At its most negative manifestation, this rune can stand for lies, deceit, and even self-sabotage. A negative rune, the crossroads indicate a choice may be needed or that sabotage may be occurring. Energy is expanding in all directions with yourself at the center. This could mean that you have an expanded awareness. But unfortunately, the path is blocked by obstacles that can only be overcome by changing directions. The crossroads rune reminds you that there are many ways to reach the same place. Something or someone is working against your plan or opposing your desires. Maybe your efforts and ideas are not getting results because something is freezing them in a sense. This rune can be related to stagnation. The crossroads tells you not to give up. It just tells you to change your strategy because the path you're on right now is blocked. There's many ways to reach the same place, so be careful not to put yourself in a victim position. Conflicts, misunderstanding, and oppositions are one side of this room. 
It can also represent situations that are just simply beyond your control. A positive rune, man represents active and dynamic energy. It can represent any male that can influence the situation you're asking about. Father, son, brother, uncle, male boss, friend, lover, or enemy, they are all represented by the man rune. On a general level, this rune is connected to characteristics such as courage, impetuosity, curiosity, perseverance. It's related to fighting, conquering, protecting, and discovering. When the man rune appears, you can be sure that a chaotic and dynamic energy is going to influence the situation for good or for bad. But the man rune demands action. It's no longer time to quietly sit and think hide yourself or to heal. Nope, it's time to get up and fight for what you want. If things are slow or stagnated, it's time to change that. Begin something new. A positive rune, flight represents higher knowledge, traveling, networking with people, or even education. Also called the birds, this is a rune of movement and communication. Emails, letters, phone calls, news, unexpected visits, all is symbolized by the flight rune. Flight tells you that information is coming if it's not already here, and you can make informed choices and change your plans accordingly. Thus, it's very common for this rune to represent a change in plans. This rune is also a rune of synchronicity of receiving the information you need exactly when you need it. On a physical level, the flight rune can represent travel, especially by air, and it can indicate a journey. It represents visits both expected and unexpected, and because of its relation to communication, it can represent discussions, exchange of ideas, and teamwork. Unfortunately, its negative side can stand for gossip, rumors, or excessive noise, mental tension, overstimulation, or anxiety. The star is a positive rune that represents a hope or a wish, maybe a long-term dream that you want to make into a reality. In many cultures, the star is a symbol of hope, dreams, and destiny. The star does not say that you'll get everything you want without any work. It's not about easy success but it's about having faith in what you're doing. The goals suggested by the star are usually the highest and most significant ones, the ones that are hardest to get. The symbol also represents ideals, individual or collective ones. Don't be afraid to jump forward when the opportunity arises. The star urges you to take a risk, have hope and trust. A positive rune, the sun represents the beginning of something new. It also represents achievement and financial gain. The sun is a well-known symbol of good omen and protection. It's the life giver and the light that chases away the darkness and brings a new day. This rune can represent a significant change in a situation that was once bleak. Sometimes this rune can symbolize the bestowing of an honor or an award or the acknowledgement of good work. This rune can literally put you under the spotlight and expose you to public scrutiny. Be prepared to deal with that. It's a rune of material wealth and can represent very rich people. A negative rune, the scythe indicates a bond is breaking or has broken. It represents change or sudden endings. Related to endings, sudden separations, final decisions, important changes, and danger. The appearance of this symbol shows that there's something in your life that you need to bring to an end now, before it gets worse. The scythe is also connected to sudden swift changes that force you to alter your plans completely. Sometimes the very way you see the world, the situation is no longer what it was. Your regular modus operandi no longer works here. Your ideas no longer correspond to the reality, or the information that you have is no longer accurate or useful. It's time to adapt. This rune can also represent separations, conflict, or divorce in personal situations. It can also symbolize a relationship that completely transforms for the people involved. A negative rune, woman reflects nurturing, healing, and grace this rune represents women. 
any woman that's important in the question, whether you know her or not, will be represented by this rune. Mother, sister, aunt, grandma, a female boss, friend, lover, or even enemy can all be symbolized by the appearance of this rune. In a more general sense, this rune relates to characteristics such as nurturing, comforting, and healing. Also, anything related to creativity, the home, caring for someone, or being a mother. This rune is also connected to creativity. The woman is about the birth of this project, when your creation is brought into the world fully manifested. A negative rune, waves is deeply connected to the element of water. Nothing is stable. Things are unclear. And a time of reflection is needed to see the situation for what it truly is. Its most basic meanings are intuition, imagination, mystery, and spirituality. It can also represent any journey on water. The wave rune can represent a moment in which nothing is solid under your feet. Everything moves, changes, and transforms swiftly as the water does, and it may be hard to be sure about anything. This rune can also symbolize solitude, renouncing, and sacrificing. When it appears, it's difficult to make choices due to the lack of information and uncertainty. Do not believe in anything you hear and see during these times. It's hard to be calm and rational when you're under the influence of the waves. The rings is a positive room representing binding agreements. There could be a business partnership, a marriage, or any other kind of team formation. Rings is about circumstances that connect people, representing the union of two elements to produce something new. Whenever two or more people work together to attain a common goal, this is symbolized by this rune. It can represent a union with someone you feel complements you or your work very well. When this rune appears, you have the support of a group of people or the support of the right person. Whatever you do, don't do it alone. Ask for help. The rings also represents any social groups you're a part of. It can also symbolize anything that binds you, whether you like it or not. Agreements that limit you, relationships that smother you, or groups that impose themselves on you. Romance is a negative rune that indicates unconditional love and connection with another person. It could also represent starting something you're passionate about or healing a broken heart. The romance rune is also a symbol of connection. It's related to love, passion, and emotional bonds. It could mean chemistry or sudden attraction. Any strong bond can be symbolized by this rune, including unconditional parent love or a very strong friendship. It's not limited to the emotions that spark between individuals. The love can also be directed to an object, a subject, or even work. This rune is powerful and often gives extra impulse to any rune that's close to it. The romance rune can also represent obsessive thoughts, stubbornness in pursuing a person or a goal, and lack of objectivity. Those are the downfalls of this rune. Once all of the wood burning was complete, I decided to finish my runes with a wax coating. I saved the tail ends of all of my white candles that I burn for this purpose. I placed all of the wooden rounds on top of the wax and placed the pie tin in the oven for a few minutes, just long enough for the wax to become liquid and submerge the runes. Then I removed the tin from the oven and removed each rune from the wax and wiped the excess wax off of each rune with a paper towel. After that, I used a piece of cloth to buff the wax until they shined right up and placed them all in a leather pouch. And now for my first cast with my new runes, casting them all at once and ignoring any that fall upside down. The rune that falls the furthest away is the most significant. I arranged them in the order of farthest to closest. Farthest was the moon. The next were two runes at equal distance, waves and woman. Next were three runes at equal distance, sun, scythe and romance. And finally,
finally, the closest one was man. The first thing that I noticed was that there are only two positive runes in the entire throw, so this would be a generally negative outcome. I would love to hear your interpretations of my first cast in the comments below. <laughs>